this case considered the external affairs power under section 5129, and whether or not the Commonwealth had the power to make a law that gave effect to the Paris Convention on International Transport. The central question was whether the domestic law conformed with the purpose of the international treaty. In this case, Australia had become a party to the International Convention on Air Transport. Back home, the Commonwealth had used the external affairs power to regulate air transport and translate the international 